Ooh, Isaac has stopped working. That's why you don't, uh... Oh god, if that ruined my streak, I'm gonna be mad. But it shouldn't have done that. How's it going? Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays. The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Potentially. Apparently. Hopefully. Yeah, we're still going here. We got an Eden run coming up. Man, I've really got to not hit the Lost by accident. It's so close. This is a ton of HP, the Shovel, and Cancer, I think. That's amazing. W-Y-Z-L-Y-T-6-G. G-G-G, baby, baby, baby. Use the Shovel in the corner and see if we can get some uh, dope ass. Wow, that's extremely lucky. See if we can get some dope ass uh, Black Markets or something like that. Crawl Spaces. We haven't had a black market in forever. You know what's interesting about the black market? You're gonna think I'm talking bullshit. I'm not talking bullshit. Our damage kind of sucks. Rate of fire increased as a... Re no, Cancer's HP up plus you feel protected. So we have the wafer effect after we get hit once on a room, which is nice. But anyway, um, on a black market, if you pay HP for, or for a deal on the black market, you get deal with the devil precedent. How nifty, huh? Anytime you pay HP for an item, it apparently gives you deal with the devil precedent, as Kate and I found out uh, while farming for Godhead and being like, we're gonna get angel rooms, and then all of a sudden, you know, we get a black market, we're super excited about it because we get sharp plug or something out of it, and then, whoops, now we've only got devil rooms coming our way. But anyway, little chub, little Chad, one day, one day I'll get that right. Uh, I'm not too salty about the little Chad pickup because if we get Dark Bomb, it can be incredible. And we've had the synergy enough that I can't be like, oh, it's never going to happen. It happens, you know. Both of those items show up semi-commonly. I'd say probably like once every seven, once every eight runs, we managed to get both of them. That might be a little bit of an overestimate, but, you know, you get the idea. The shovel also has some some interesting uses. It's obviously not my favorite spacebar item, but my favorite time to get the shovel is when we have no other options and we didn't have to pay HP for it. <laughs> We're not going to have to buy it on a deal with the devil just to get deal with the devil precedent. And uh, in a way, I kind of hope we get to stick with it for as long as possible on the game because it can be interesting that way. Um, or it could be boring as shit if it just constantly gives us, you know, a way down to the next floor and, and no black markets or crawl spaces. It is like a 1 in 12 shot. It's something not super high. Um, but that's okay. We can also use it to, like, get out of curse rooms without having to take damage on the way out if the curse room is, like, the literally last thing we do on the run. So I'm just happy to get out of this and not have to face any more big rooms. It looks like we're going to face Pin here. You know what would be awesome with the shovel? is if you could use the shovel on a room, and then if an enemy touched the hole that the shovel made, they fell in it and just fucking died. I guess it would make it super overpowered, but can you imagine, like, Pin going into the shovel hole, and he's just like, looks like Team Rocket is blasting off again. It would be, at least do some damage, and then pop out of the hole, and be like, who turned out the lights? Consider it, Ed. Consider it. That is not gonna work for us. We'll take the caffeine pill, though. We got a chance. Wow, a lot of speed up there. We have a chance at uh, an arcade on this floor and the HP necessary to do something about it. I, we're just gonna sacrifice the spirit heart, go to our curse room right away rather than worrying about shovel meta. We're so fast. I gotta be careful about that, actually. Um, we do have a tinted rock. We didn't actually need to place a bomb here now that I look at it because we uh, had a, uh, a champion. Oh, that is so good. We had a champion we could have blown up, but on the other hand... We did, and I'm pretty happy about it. We got our consumables back, and we also picked up the goat head. This is looking... I'm do, I don't want to say it's a one run yet. Somebody tweeted me, and I'm not trying to put you on blast here, but somebody tweeted me and said, You really need to revise your nomenclature for one runs. By your definitions, every run almost that you've done recently is a one run. And I was like, what do you want me to do, man? Every run that we've done over the last 21 runs has been a one run. I don't know what to say about it. I haven't been literally incorrect, you know? It's not like I'm overrating runs and saying that they're won when they're going to be lost. It's just that, you know, winning has thankfully come very easy for us recently, and I'm very thankful for that. Let's try not to, you know, we, we don't have anything right now except potential. The shovel represents potential. Uh, cancer represents potential. Don't take a lot of damage on future floors, hopefully. Or at least on future rooms on future floors. Um, yeah, we'll open it. Give it a shot anyway. Leo represents potential. Potential, potential, potential. I got to have some of your attention. Give it to me. 
I don't know why I'm looking for a crawl space. Well, you know, it's probably better odds to find a crawl space via Stompy than it is via a random shovel payout, so I'll live with that. And you know what? We take IV bag enough that I feel like I should go with the shovel. As much as the IV bag could be useful and might actually be the right strategic choice, we use the shovel so rarely. I wanted to see if maybe we get something out of those. We use the shovel so rarely that I would be remiss if I just said goodbye to it. That was not very smart on my part. Um, hoping we get more keys, as you might expect. I would like to go to our shop. We have almost enough money to guarantee some usefulness there. Speed upgrade. Don't mind if I do. Be very careful about crushing these. Why not shoot the fire? Well, just laziness, but also uh, our rate of fire is a little low. Watch out for the bomb rock. I, I mean, I, I do, I want, kind of want to crush all these, but at the same time, we've probably given it our all there, most, more or less at least. Um, no bombs, no keys, but uh, a guaranteed deal with the devil without doubt because of the fact that we have, uh, obviously, the goat head. So, I mean, that's what represents the, the biggest potential in this run without a doubt. And a 22 streak, you know, maybe not that exciting, but it's a palindrome. It's the first palindrome in 11 runs, and it's the first palindrome for 11 runs. So, it would be nice, and we're itching, or inching closer and closer to that 25 number, quarter century. It's no cobalt streak, but we're making, uh, we're making good progress and making myself feel good about it. Not the best items thus far. However, old bandage can be good. Man, we've been... Getting a lot of these lately, but I can't really complain now. Hopefully we still maintain Deal with the Devil precedent. And you might be saying, well, of course, you just picked up uh, the Nine Lives item. You must have... We broke We broke the game. I love it. Oh, this is awesome. It would be great if we found the crawl space here now. Does that work again? No, they just fly off into the sunset. Okay. Um, tinted Rock. Fantastic. No key, though. Um, it would be great if we just found the crawl space here. I thought I had something else to say. Oh, I was talking about Deal with the Devil President. Oh, yeah. So we, uh, we actually do not have Deal with the Devil President because we didn't pay any HP for an item. That's the flip side of that other, uh, that other, um, you know, uh, blood, or, <laughs> what am I trying to talk about here? It's the flip side of the, uh, Black Markets setup. There's a rock. Oh, please. I guess you're not guaranteed to get a crawl space on every floor just because you uh, break every rock. I'm gonna go pretty hard here because I, I mean the money is nice, but mostly I want to get a, a key so we can go to our shop. And if we don't have the money necessary to get to our shop, yeah, at least give us two bombs so we have a chance at it. I found pills. That's okay. Uh, it, this could give us access to our shop. I'm not really worried about boss rush or anything like that. So long story short, we do not have deal with the devil precedent yet. Could get it in the future. Hopefully we'll get it in the future. Lucky us. Okay. And we even got an extra key out of that, which is nice. And I am going to, like, place a bomb. Oh, right. We don't need to place a bomb. Instead, we could just do that. Take damage. I placed the bomb in the wrong direction. Okay. Thank God we got another opportunity here. We got another bomb. Uh, I'm going to take Mom's purse and I'm going to stick with Blank Card. Because it's kind of fun. And with this second key... Uh, I can open this and hopefully get enough money to maybe buy a charge, have a better shovel black market chance. Yeah? Trade a bomb for a key, or a key for a bomb in two cents. It's not the most, like, there's better plays here, but I kind of like it. We'll give it a shot. It did not work out, but hey, saved us a little bit of backtracking. Alright, we got Stompy, we got nine lives. Nine lives is a great basis for future, uh... A lot of future things. It's a good, good defensive item, uh, just on its lonesome. Maybe the best defensive item in the game. And I'm including, like, Holy Mantle in there as well. But uh, it's close. I, I would take either of them. Or, even better, I would take both of them. Thank you, little Chad. Little Chad's like, hey, me too. I'm a good defensive item. Well, you're all right, buddy. You know, you got to know your role. Uh, you're not you're not at that tier. But you can be really, really helpful. And you're a little bit more of a utility play, you know? I can't use nine lives to really play a blood bank. That's what I need you for, buddy. Nine lives doesn't really help me out with Dark Bomb. That's what you're for, buddy. You're you're a team player. You're a support class, not a not a hard carry, not a tank. All right, we are taking some damage. This is largely related to the fact that our damage still sucks. You know, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Uh, you need damage to win a run, one way or the other, uh, and we do not have it right now. You need damage or to be literally unkillable. There's a couple of ways that can happen, but damage is definitely the more likely of the outcomes um, that could save us here. 
So it's not a one run and it's not a lost run yet, but definitely we have a lot of potential. You know what? Come on down. You're the next contestant on Get Blown the Fuck Up. We are about to fight our boss. We got one bomb at least ready for that. And uh, hopefully, you know, we're looking at DPS upgrades here. You can get screwed so hard by the RNG by just never getting a tears or, uh, or damage up or good deal with the devil items. This is a pretty great situation for us, though. The hollow is really easy. I actually prefer a double hollow fight. This is how bad the hollow is. Look, don't hate me because I'm going to suggest this, but I actually think that it would be awesome if in Afterbirth the Hollow somehow got either a buff or at least a champion version of the Hollow that was annoying. But, like, this Hollow is actually harder than two Hollows. Larry Sr. is is a more challenging enemy to face than the actual boss. Because this guy, you know, he never shoots at you. One of the champions does shoot, but not a huge problem. I did take a lot of damage there. I'm not happy about it. Should have just used a bomb instead. You know, speed and range is not what we want. Why are we taking Ghost Baby? Because we only had one HP anyway, and we have nine lives, so it's not like we're sacrificing a, a lot here. Ghost Baby, as much as I do not like Ghost Baby, Ghost Baby does help us um, with a little bit of extra DPS. Not much, but a little bit. Uh, so I'll, I'll take what I can get at this point. Plus there were more Spirit Hearts available there. Uh, and that's another trip down to the next floor, unfortunately. I'm going to try. I think I've, I've kind of got to right now give it our all. Ideally, though, we don't lose any of our nine lives. If I can swing that, I'll be a happy camper. Three floors deep and no damage ups or tears. It's bad. Uh, but our speed is through the roof, man. Like, if we get Taurus, <laughs> I guess we're going to be invincible real quick. Uh, for now, though, I'm just trying to keep a positive face uh, on what is looking like a little bit of a scary run. But one way or the other, you know, I'm not going to blame Ghost Baby for a loss here if we get one. I don't think that's going to be the, the, the problem. I'm not even going to blame myself for this loss as of right now because the damage ups just are not coming. We got to use all of our available advantages. Secret room here contains three extra bombs. I like it. And this is a great room to potentially find a crawl space on. You never know. Crawl space common cold. Crawl space Capricorn. They don't all have to start with C. Could be crawl space holy mantle. Could be crawl space cursed skull. Now, you're, you're noticing now probably that our damage is a little subpar. I'm noticing it too. Don't get me wrong. Maybe we shouldn't have broken those rocks until the fight was over, because that kind of... Those rocks give us, like, lanes. I mean, we still have them defined to a certain extent here, but... It's a little bit more annoying to tackle it this way. Dark Bum solves a lot of problems in this run. Uh, I do want to do that, but I don't want to do that. Maybe if we can, like, shovel our way out of that situation. We can get the consumables and then shovel out. I really thought I'd be able to thread the needle there, and that was very stupid of me. This, uh, this run that we've got going on here cannot stand much longer without picking up some kind of killing power. This is good, though. This is really good. Um, anemic is not what we need. Tinted rock could be. Not small rock, but two spirit hearts. That's still good. Definitely gonna blow this up. Definitely gonna take this. Uh, I didn't mean to use a key there, but now that we've done it, we might as well go in. And there's nothing I want... Uh, you know what? Let's try this. No, we don't need an arcade, so let's try something. We got nothing on that one. Let's take this one, and then we're going to go into the um, uh, mob trap room, open up both of these, take our consumables, and get the hell out of here. Oh, it's a crawl space! <laughs> that should still work, though. Oh my fuck, it's Proptosis. Chat, we did it. Commenters, we did it. Just got to abuse the jump button there. We, this is our damage up. This is, this is huge. Uh, I didn't think it would be possible, but that was just the luckiest pickup we've ever had. Okay, uh, all of a sudden, it's a little less scary. Like, Proptosis by itself is maybe not a winner, but it's, it's very, very good. Very, very, very good. And perhaps even more than just being good is like, thought maybe we'd get something there, is extremely, extremely valuable. 
Uh, we have no damage, so any damage upgrade would have been great, and this is certainly one of the best. So we get... Uh, I don't I don't know the exact specifics on Proptosis, but I know that uh, you get a bonus. The closer... You get a bonus to your damage, I should say, the closer you are. But you also... It, like, it's an absolute damage up. Even if you're far away from your enemy, like at maximum range, you still get like a 40% damage bonus. So... Our, uh, that's a little shitty, but we've had some range ups, shot speed up, well, mostly speed ups, I guess, but, um, even at max range, we're gonna get a lot of value out of this. And our number one thing is, is still kind of survivability, so, we do need to stack up some, you know, range, some rate of fire, it would be awesome if we could get, like, uh, you know, something with infinite range, like a tech one, brimstone, of course, and those always have the possibility to show up, considering, you know, what we're talking about here, um, I think we saved that room for the end, and I'm pretty much just gonna abuse the same strategy I, I abused to get Proptosis. If we can use the shovel... By the way, thank god we didn't take IV Bag. I didn't think it would work out this nicely, but it did. Um, if we can abuse the, uh, the shovel to get out of that room without fighting anything, I would like that. But we have to wait until the end of the floor, because... Otherwise we'd skip the entirety of the floor, which is no good. Alright, so there's an exit. When we find our boss room, which is right here, I do want to buy a Spirit Heart if we can. Mm, but Humbling Bundle, though. Uh, we can probably get both. That's five cents by itself right there, so we only need one more cent to get both of them. Uh, get Humbling Bundle. We should have... Oh, you know what? There you go. Buy Humbling Bundle, then walk out, and then we got enough money for that. And now, uh, why not get the Nun's Habit along with it? Doesn't cost us that much. And then we'll get the Spirit Heart. Yeah, okay, so now we have enough to, to take a deal without dying. Which is good, because I don't want to worry about dying. I just want to worry about the Sunshine Girls. Something like that. It's been a while. Um, just keep backing it up as far as we can here. Um, I don't want to get too close to Chubb, but I will say we're privileged in that we can get pretty close to Chubb. I took damage on, on what there? Maybe, maybe he just hit me. Yeah, he hit me twice. Wow, I'm mad. We're privileged that we should, in theory, should have been able to get pretty close to him because of the fact that I have such high speed. Obviously, we have to take something here. And I think the best thing for us is... Rotten Baby for the extra damage. It's debatable, don't get me wrong. Uh, but I like it because it gives us the extra damage... Obviously, the ability to fly, also really good. And Book of Belial, really, really good for the damage bonus, but we already have Goathead. And mostly, like, I, I don't want to give up the shovel. The shovel's been funny for us, so I, I like it. I want to stick with it and take its picture. That was the worst uh, Sir Mix-a-Lot reference ever attempted. Okay, so we can just donate back to our donation machine if we want. Perthrow Rune would be... Oh, that's so good, too. But Perthrow Rune would be really huge here. Could reroll that deal with the devil into spirit art deals. Take one, die, respawn. Uh, you could take that, rewind it back. Ludacris got the shit that make your booty go smack. Of course, we've all been familiar with that for uh, time Im immemorial. So, might as well try this. Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, I don't know if it's that great if we get the uh, piercing shots, but. Rubber cement from our crawl space as well. This is the run that is making me appreciate crawl space meta all over again after being like, I don't really understand crawl spaces. They tend not to be very good. Yo, we're putting in our due diligence here, and the crawl space is given back. I don't know why I went into like my Jethro Tull there. Well, now we have no reason, like, at all to look for, um, um, to look for more crawl spaces. On this floor, that is. On future floors, of course. Unfortunately, we have to make a choice. Sort of. Do we choose to... Ignore either our curse room or our mob trap room? Or do we choose to go fight our mob trap room and then use our shovel on the curse room so we don't die on the way in? Or on the way out, I should say. Probably that one. We have to see our item room first, though. Shoot the whoop. That was real bad. Let's try for some, like, balls of steel pills here. Oh, mini mush, extra range. Can't hurt proptosis. And I'm not uh, using the shovel yet because I got I got interesting potential uses for it. Are you a wizard? Is not one of them. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go to our curse room. 
No, sorry, I meant the other way. I'm going to go to our mob trap room, boss trap room. Yeah. And we're gonna fight these guys. I'm hoping we get a spirit heart. A guppy item helps out a lot, too. Um, it's guppy's paw, which we can't really do much with. Or anything with, for that matter. Um, but we might as well pick it up. Oh, now we have two guppy items, at least. And that's a huge help with proptosis. Proptosis plus flies is really good. I, even if we die here, it doesn't matter to me. Because we can actually respawn and then get the ability to fly. It might be best for us to die here. I think it's... B I'm convincing myself now that it is best for us to die here so we can get an ability to fly. But we might as well finish the room and then blow ourselves up. Because we'll get a consumable out of this. But if we don't, it's not the end of the world, which is nice to hear. Alright, I'm, I'm getting full into, you know, self... Death ability here. There's probably a better word for that. Um, so we've already taken this, but just to make sure, I'll take it again. We'll get rid of I found pills. Okay, how do we do this? Well, we we murder ourselves with a bomb. Could have didn't have to be with a bomb, but we had some left over. Then we go pick up the uh, spirit of the night, and it kills us. But that's okay because we respawn, and we can always get back to three spirit hearts if we wanted to, um, just by using Guppy's Paw. Do I want to? I don't really think I need to. I don't I don't think I need to. I'd like to have the opportunity to use HP upgrades in the future. Then we go into our curse room for free, which is down here, and we hope that it gives us the next Guppy item, in which case we didn't have to do any of this shit at all because we would have gotten the ability to fly naturally. Hilarious. And I... We're Guppy now, but I'm gonna take the shovel with me even though it's not as good. Because it's funny and it's given us proptosis and uh, also rubber cement thus far. So we are like really, really low on HP. That's the, that's the piss off here. However, we are guppy with proptosis. So if we can, if we can stack up HP, this run is unlosable. It, it qualifies for unlosable uh, status right now. We just need to get more spirit hearts, or the ability to get more spirit hearts, or more red hearts, or the ability to get more red hearts. Like Maggie's Faith, for example. Did I blow myself up with a bomb there? Thank god we got two amnesia pills. Um, also, it might seem a little... perhaps overly cautionary, but I really need to not lose like a lot of lives here. Because we might, in order to get survivability, we might need to kill ourselves on a couple deals with the devil, so... We'll see. Uh, we'll see is basically, I guess, the way that I'm going to tackle this. We can crush these and hopefully get some black cards. This could be a huge help for us. Or it could do, like, nothing at all. That's just a way down. Uh, yes, and yes, and yes, and... Oh, we can't blow you up. <laughs> but I was gonna... You could probably guess what my next word was gonna be. Why not pick up the shovel, get another chance at, like, a black market or a crawl space or something? Well, there's a couple of reasons why not, but... I still think it's worth it. Magician, we'll just use. Amnesia, we should probably just use as well, so I don't get confused about, you know, what's this extra pill doing here. There we go. Another card. Waiting for the hero font. World card does nothing on this floor now. Sun card is better than the world card. Temperance is perhaps valuable because of Humbling Bundle. And there's five cents. We could buy a battery charge there. Distant Admiration. All right. An attack fly is, is just fine. Pick this up. You know, if we don't end up going back to our blood bank, I think that's completely okay as well. This is, this is one of my favorite kinds of probably one runs because we do have to play smart here. If we just, like, completely fade out... Don't pay attention to what's going on. We will lose. At least for now. If we get a lot of black hearts quickly, we can we can solve that problem very, very quickly. Especially considering we still have the, the cancer item. Very stupid of me. Uh, the cancer item, of course, meaning that uh, I take half damage after I already get hit on a room. But we gotta get there first. Uh, yeah, we'll open that. Ooh, that was very, very worthwhile. Also a great opportunity for a death card, I think. Uh, come on. Hierophant. 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 
Chariot. Also good, but I think at this point I'm going to go back for the Sun card just so I don't forget it. This floor has the potential to... It, it sets our momentum, and that's important. This is also very stupid of me. However. Um, now i got to kill all of you. We're going to go for it anyway. Uh, we have Goathead ready. Let's see what we got here. Probably don't stand right there. That's all right. We got Proptosis. Got the job done. Thank you, Flies. And maybe like a... Oh, Torn Photo is so good. And then Krampus? No, the nail. It's one of those weird ones because like we have Battery. Nuns have it. But I'm going to stick with the shovel because, you know... At Northern Lion HQ, you're rewarded for company loyalty, and the shovel has probably gifted us the win here, with the exception of the guppy items, which I guess we would have gotten anyway, but the shovel has really, really helped out. This is, by the way, a lovely uh, series of skulls. Shovel's really helped out, and I appreciate that. Uh, we've seen shop, we've seen item room. Let's head down to the next floor, I think. Slow run, but a run that's going to work here, I think, regardless, and this is exciting, man. Double key room. Don't make me re-roll it now. It's been making me re-roll a lot. Uh, collar. Uh, there's no real reason not to pick up the collar. Got some spiders and flies. Not a bad room, all things considered. Where do we use our sun card? Well, where would we use a world card in this situation? That's really good. We'd probably use our world card as late as possible. So that's the way we're going to use our sun card as well. Enough flies? Yeah, enough flies. Um, we could use bombs to get into the shop instead of keys, but that's a bad deal, I think. We got a lot of keys. Let's see if we can truly get out of control on this run. I can't believe we went from... Oh, that sucks. I was looking forward to maybe donating some money back, which is very easy to say when there's no donation machine to call your bluff with, but um, either way, I'm happy about this. Uh... I can't believe we went from, what I was going to say is I can't believe we went from like zero damage to a ton of damage. Like an absurd amount of damage so quickly. Spider Baby seems to be showing up all the time now. I'm not mad though. You know our spiders are going to do a lot of damage so I think it's nice to have them. Should crack these. Um, we, you know, if they gave us a rune or something I'd be excited about it. More keys. Uh, Black Heart's also very valuable. You know, it's, it's still not loot, or it's not unlosable, I should say. Once we get to the HP cap, though, I thought I just fucked myself. That would have been a hilarious turn of events there. I was like, did I just drop that right in front of the door, thereby making it, like, impossible for me to leave? That would have been so ridiculous. We still could have won just by going down to Shoal, I guess, but it would, it would give some people something to complain about, that's for sure. And deservedly so. Alright, we're almost done here. Thank you, Proptosis. And we have 2 HP. I think we might as well. And we will head down to the next floor. Alrighty. Hopefully no Curse of the Unknown. Good, we get a little ability to kind of stand back and be like, here's where our HP's at, here's where our lives are. That's exciting. We're going to keep it moving here. Um... There is a Tinted Rock. One Spirit Heart is valuable for sure. Dead end next to our secret room. Doesn't always happen, but I'm okay with it. Maybe we can skip a lot here. I mean, we only have blue maps, so it's kind of hard to figure out just where the heck we're supposed to go. But we'll, we got enough bombs to at least try a couple locations. This should really, if this is the right way, this will really expedite our getting out of here process. Um... Not a deal with the devil. Mm. I think we're going to end up like not even skipping any rooms, actually. Now that I look at it, we actually did a couple extra rooms because of my uh, desire to speed through things. It actually came back and bit me in the butt a little bit, but it's all right. Again, like these floors, especially with the cancer uh, item, should really give me a pretty easy opportunity to just... Uh, pull away and hopefully stack up some spirit hearts that I can rely on if things get a little tricky down in the chest but or the cathedral for that matter we'll go back for that key I thought I was on top of it but I guess not for now though we got one more wow no mapping man we got one more uh, deal with the devil guaranteed here we could just skip this floor but I don't think it's a smart idea deal with the devil could be good and beyond that the uh 
the item from the boss could be good as well. And we got a Spirit Heart just there for free, so not going to complain. Amazingly, we somehow didn't take damage there as well. All right. I, I hate to admit it, but I am, like, thinking about the Isaac run already. I'm like, you know what? This one's looking like it's probably in the bag. Do we know this? Mm. This one's looking like it's probably in the bag. We still need to focus, but we've probably pulled ourselves out of whatever tailspin we found ourselves in right at the start. So uh, that's really exciting. I think we, we, we worked for this one. We got lucky. We had to abuse the shovel in some unique situations. It was, it was a combination of luck and, I don't want to say skill, but at least shovel awareness. And keep in mind, the uh, Cathedral will probably be a little shorter, because that's where... Unless I get a ton of HP and decide I want to use this as a full health card, I'm probably going to be using the Shovel as a... Or the, the Sun as a um, Necronomicon plus World card on the, uh, on the Cathedral. So that'll speed that up a lot. And then it'll all be down to the chest, where hopefully we'll get some good items there. But we probably won't end up needing them. But it's always nice to have them. Sometimes you want to go... Down to a floor and get piercing shots. Boom, 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 boom. Is that all the best you've got? That doesn't really make any sense. Okay, we can fly so we can get around that one. Not that we need to. I don't know. Do we want, like, an eternal heart in here? Maybe. Maybe not. Lots of red hearts. Dark bomb would be fantastic. Loki's going to die in about a second and a half. And that's beautiful. Uh, yes. <laughs> we will do this. So you take that. Rewind it back, uh, or sure got the shit that make your booty go smack. Fantastic. Brimstone Guppy Proptosis, it's over. Stop, stop, he's already dead. Okay. Probably still would have won regardless. This ruined Rubber Cement, but I gotta be honest with you, although it pains me to say, I'm getting a little sick of Rubber Cement's shit. I hate when it ruins piercing shots, you know, like, piercing shots is like my dude who's been a friend for like five years, and then Rubber Cement shows up and, yo, it's like, check out this shit, I'm double jointed, I can like bend my elbow behind my head, and I'm like, whoa, that's pretty cool. But then, over time, you know, I've realized that he's kind of a dick to my long-term friend, and I'm like, oh, dude, come on now, don't be a dick to piercing shots. You're making it hard to be friends with you, but he's got too much of an ego about it. This metaphor got oddly specific, but you, you know, you get the idea. Rubber cement's still cool, but I don't mind alienating it a little bit uh, for a good uh, opportunity here. We have Mom's Purse, so I, I kind of feel like we'd be remiss not to do this. I'll go down to 70. 65. Just to see, because I think we have Mom's Purse. Like, we could take a second trinket. Really? Like, nothing? At all? I mean, I wasn't expecting the world. But anything really would have been helpful there. Still. Uh, my HP, like, when I look at it, I worry. But then I look at the damage output and I'm like, there's nothing to worry about here at all. I don't even think I want... Ah, we'll open them because if they are spirit hearts, it'll be nice to have them. Could still be in this one. No, just a uh, doctor's remote. Broken remote. You know what I mean. Very important on this room... Let's not accidentally go into the bottom left corner and uh, leave the floor and then not be able to do the chest. That would be stupid. And I don't want to be a guy who makes a stupid decision of that magnitude more than once. Alright, maybe a special way out here. And that is how I intended that to work on the last floor. Only this time it actually did work. Should be an easy finish here. Mom's heart is a stationary target. We got, like, she's not made out of paper, but she was basically made out of tissue paper there. And we got to keep uh, a lot of our flies for the next floor, which is beautiful as well. One red chest. At this point, I'm like, nah, dog. You got to do better than that. Put a bomb down here. Save our flies. And uh, if we can go to our curse room, I would very much like to do so. I would still like magic mush as well, but... Pact is also very good. What about our shovel here? Does nothing. I still think you can find us crawl spaces. I'm not 100% confident because I don't think I've ever done it uh, on the chest or the cathedral, but could happen. Here a font we might as well just use right off the bat. Yeah, this is, at this point, we just picked up so much HP. We picked up, like, more HP than we've lost since picking up Proptosis, I think. So, this is a, a definite win, and I'm excited by it. We don't even act like we got carried here. Yes, we got Brimstone. You know, yes, we got proptosis, but uh, 
you know, we had we got them in some very, very unusual ways. I'm very happy about this. Shouldn't get too cocky yet. You never know if like a Curse of the Blind soy milk could show up, but what it's probably like a 1 in 80 shot, so I feel somewhat confident. Hey, pick a number between 1 and 80. Did you pick 61? You got me, you sly dog. Statistically, some of you probably did there, and many more of you will probably say that you did. I mean, Box of Spiders probably beats Shovel right now. That's about it. Um, I don't want to take the... Uh, like, our rate of fire is already good enough that there's no need, I think, to take um, Skinny Odd Mushroom. So that's good. And we'll put this down here, and Ghost Baby will try to knock it away, and I'll say no, 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 no. Um... One hit is enough. Okay, good. Do we still get a damage bonus from Proptosis, or is that stuff, like, completely exempt from the equation now? Because if we still get a damage bonus from Proptosis, I might as well get up in this enemy's face and just, like, ruin them. I think we might, actually, but those enemies are also just not very tanky, so... That could be a representation, or a, an explanation, I should say, for that. But it does... let's try it. How fast do we kill you? Well, a spider hit you in advance there, so it's kind of not fair, but... You know what? Let's not sweat it too much. I think we're going to be fine. We killed both of them in basically one shot there, so functionally there can't be too, too much of a difference. Ooh, okay. Isaac Run coming up next, and we've uh, we've navigated a you know the more difficult part of the Trinity. Eden and Random. Both of which were somewhat unusual. Dare I even say tricky runs. So I'm feeling like I'm warmed up, feeling good at, you know, confident in my skills right now. Let's make this happen, you know, we get through the Isaac run, all we gotta do is loop one more time to have a really, really good shot of getting to, uh, the 26. Or at least 25. I don't wanna equal the streak, though, I wanna equal it temporarily and then better it forever. Let's see what this is, we actually got a chest for once as well. Oh, you showed up! I told you, man, little chub, little Chad, sorry. It's your time to shine, man. I appreciate it. Alright. Uh, we had one more there. Um, I'll go see what that is after we finish, I guess. Very easy fight against Blue Baby. Ah, oh, the Yum Heart would have saved us a lot of hassle there. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We are now up to 22. I'm excited. If you did enjoy it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.